So guys, um, welcome to our third video tutorial which we are going to talk about data type. So guys, um, let's talk, um, bis bisa na natin to kasi, um, just, kasi my, I think I'm going somewhere kasi, um, when it's 2.11, um, but I have a date, so, <laughs> so guys, okay, D data type, so, no nga data types, in C kasi guys, there are some cases that we are going to store, values in a variable and that variable we need to declare kung anong type siya so yun na nga nakita nyo the types are integer character integer character boolean double float long yun lang guys yun lang yung discuss natin so um data types um this write our c program so hashtag include stdio.h standard input output guys then that ginagawa lang natin noon then int main na catch up ba kayo? Then, post lang yung video if medyo na ano kayo. So, kung gusto nyo catch up. So, int. Ano nga bang integer? Yan guys, yung when we declare a variable and kung anong type siya. Susulat na natin is int for example, int age. See? Int age, then semicolon. Then, yun guys, we are imagine, mag imagine lang lang kayo ng variable na ang pangalan age then the type niya is int. Ano nga ba ang int? Int is for mga whole, whole numbers. For example, 100, 200, 300, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, mga ganon. Then, yun. Um, by the way guys, um, variable names are completely kumaga nasa sa inyo yan kung anong gusto nyo. Pwede nyo naman ang pangalan na x. Pwede nyo yung pangalan na variable int hello. Pwede Ganyan, wow. Any, the variable name is up to you guys. But for now, pangalan natin age. Then, age is equal to, ilan ba age nyo? Ako 19. So, age is 19. So, yun guys. By the way guys, I just wanna say that ang tawag dito is an assignment statement. Which is assignment statement. Meaning na, you're assigning you're assigning a value to a variable which is of type integer okay assignment statement just for you know guys then um, gusto lang, and one thing pala kung magde-declare mag kayo ng variable and i-assign nyo agad yung value pwede nyo naman gawin to na int age is equal to 19 pwede nyo naman ganyan kung gusto nyo gusto nyo nang idiretso so guys int age equal to 19. So, magtataka kayo, um, um, yun nga, magtataka kayo, um, paano natin i-print yan sa screen? So, mamaya guys, i-discuss muna natin yung mga, mga iba pang data types. So, so sunod is character. Character, for example, letter is equal to, equal to, for example, W or A. Then, semicolon. So guys, by the way, naalala ko pala, um, mag-semicolon lang kayo when, mga, for example, when you're, when mag-assign kayo ng mga variable, ito, a value, mag-assign kayo ng value to a variable, or mag-declare kayo ng variable, most of cases, ganyan, ganyan kayo, ganyan na lumalagay kayo ng mga, ng semicolon and also for function declarations and mga ganyan so mga, mga sa next tutorial na guys about functions don't worry wag, wag nyo align yan then next is boolean bool yan ang tinatype nyo sa C for example bool anong, day, anong name um, choice for example is either sabi ko sa inyo guys the value of that is either true or false. Yan yan. Wala nang iba. Yan lang yan. Lagyan natin true for now. So, the next is double, for example, double, um, um, double number is equal to, for example, um, 3.14. 3.14. Yan yan. Then, float. Ang pinagkaiba guys na double and Float is just double is I think 64 bit uh, and float is 32 bit. So ano ba meaning nun? Um, 
Basta guys, it's something in the computer na parang mas mas malaki at ang in-install nito. Pero it is recommended na kung hindi naman malaki yung mga ipiprint out nyo sa screen, you should use na float as your data type kung anong type. Especially nga ano. And double and float nga pala is when you store numbers like real numbers na mga 3.14. For example, yung mga decimal places na 1.2, 3 point something, 10 point something, ganyan. Then, for example, float, um, float, FL, variable name niya is, well, 2.17. 2.17, ganyan. 2.17123. Ganyan. So, yun guys. And for long. Ano nga bang long? So, guys, ang long is, then, it is a data type where you can store um, yung mga numbers na mga malaki na, yung mga nag ng billions and millions. So, I got here, um, oops, that is, um, I got here, ito yung mga data types sa uh, C. You can visit the site naman guys, it's just Wikipedia. So, long is where you can store, um, ito, it's capable of containing at least 2 billion. Neg simula negative 2 billion is this billion di guys? Diba? billion to simula negative 2 billion hanggang positive 2 billion with the same number 147, 483 kaya yung mag capable of containing na ganyan ng range when you declare a long variable so guys um, magtata kayo uh, paano nga ba yan i-print sa C so in sa for integer when when meron tayo guys sa tinatawag na mga format specifiers ano nga ba yun so makita niyo lang for integer how we print it ganun basic stuff lang naman yung dati lang print f then for example my age is percent i percent i then, this is guys what you call the format specifier. Makita nyo kung ibig sabihin nyo. Then, our variable name. Then, semicolon. Don't forget, huwag nyo kakalimutin yung semicolon. Then, ano nga bang ibig sabihin? Ito, so, i-run natin. So, i-run natin. So, kasi nyo guys, magsisave ata kayo. So, i-save nyo lang. Then, kita nyo, my age is 19. So, my age is... This is the format specifier. So, ito yung variable name natin. The value of our variable name. Mapupunta pa, punta dyan sa format specifier. Then, ano bang value ng age? 19. So, the display dyan is 19. So, yun. Guess nyo ba guys? So, yun lang naman ang basic syntax niya. This is the format specifier for integer. Okay? Tandaan yung for integer lang yan. Then, pwede naman guys, another format specifier for integer is D. Pero, is D. Yeah. Pero, I tend to use I kasi nasanay lang ako. Pero, it's up to you guys if you want, you want, na ano, I. So, next is character. So, paano nga ba mag-print ng character sa screen? Just print F. Um, uh, value of letter is the format specifier is percent c correct tama kayo na tama, tama yung hula nyo kung nahulaan yung c nga then ano nga ba dito yung variable name letter and semicolon then ang mangyayari guys the value of letter which is yun yung ma display dito sa format specifier so when we run this gawin na natin Ayan, may, aw, oh, ano lang kita nyo guys, magkadikit. One thing pala gusto kong sabihin sa inyo is, the one thing called the backslash n. Yung parang mag next line siya. Parang mag display. Ayan, makikita nyo pag print natin. Ayan, ba Nag next line siya. Ang ibig sabihin lang naman nito guys is next line. Parang mag next line, next line lang naman yan. Yun lang naman. <laughs> So, the value of letter is A, which is A. Diba? Kita nyo A? Palitan natin yan para mas maintindihan. Kunwari E. Kunwari E. 
then we compile and run diba e but it's small letter e pwede guys sinabi ko sa inyo ang character yung yan naman yung letters lang naman yan sa alphabet so so uh, what's next boolean so for boolean guys um yun na nakita niyo siguro sa mga sa past few length ng videos may sinerch ako kung paano mag print ng boolean so ang nakita ko lang is may dalawang ways so the first way kung gusto niyo talaga makita yung value as in true or false it's like this um print f ganyan then the num the name of the variable choice question mark then lagay ko yun ng kung kung ano it's either um true ganyan and false oops oops then semicolon so ira natin then oh backslash na kalimutan na lang lagay ulit tayo ng backslash backslash and para mag next line so guys nakita niyo true true kasi nga true nga yung value na ano natin dito so ano nga bang ibig sabihin nito parang ang take it from like this na lang print f choice is it true or false ano bang value niya ano bang value niya true it is sulat na true dito Oh, paano kung false to? Hindi mo false ay yung ano. For example, the value of our choice is false. We, for example, print f choice, question mark. Ano ba ang value niya? True or false? Pag true, di ito yung isulat niya. Pag false, di ito. So, yun. False ang value natin. So, isulat niya. It's false. Yan yan. Yun lang naman guys. For, so, for double, again, print f double uh, print f the value of number is for double guys uh, percent f uh, pareho lang naman yun sa, 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 sa float pareho sila sa float so then the name of our variable number so double is 3.14 oops nakalimutan ko ulit yung ano yung backslash dito na lang natin ilagay guys kasi hindi naman ganyan so print it ka ng backslash so the value of number is 3.14 so magtataka kayo bakit nga may 0,0,0 kasi yan guys yung kung mag nasa computer ko pero kung gusto nyong mawala yan you just have to put the what we call the parang ganito the point to f so meaning So meaning it means na kung 0.2f kung anong number ito yun yung <coughs> excuse me yan yung kung ilang places lang ang ma-display dito. Nakita niyo yan um two places lang kasi 0.2f. <coughs> so yun guys. And applicable din guys siya sa float, pareho lang naman siya sa float. <coughs> For float um print f um The value of fl is percent f. Oops. Tama kayo. Lagi natin ng backslash n para mag next line. Is then again the variable name. The what's the variable? Oh, fl. Okay. So when we run this again, di ba nagita nyo? Um, 2.171230 So ganyan guys yung pag print at yung mga, yung mga basic format specified. So again kung gusto niyo yung 3 places lang, for example 3 places 0.3f. So when we run this nakita niyo di ba 3 decimal places lang one, hanggang 171 lang siya. So that's it. Oh, yung long pa pala. So for long, for example, when declare a long, long, for long, L is equal to, for example, yung mga mahaba nga. Basta guys, um, for example, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
Ang ganyan. Very large number, right? Natin yan. Okay. So, when we display long, it's just na print F. It's percent L D. The value of L is percent L D. Then, don't forget the variable name, which is L. So, when we print this, Oh, yung backslash na na naman, guys. Yung backslash na na naman. Limutan natin. <laughs> Yan yung backslash n. Diba? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yan. So, guys. So, guys, I recommend you na mag-experiment kayo. Try nyo lang. Mag-print f, print f lang kayo ng mga variables. So, that's it for... That's it. So, pero guys, may isa pala ako. What if kung what if kung gusto nyong mag-print gusto nyong mag-print ng dalawang format specifiers na dalawa yung format specifiers. Simple lang naman guys. For example, let's, let's take it sa ano, declare ulit tayo ng magkaiba. For example, um, meron tayong integer x is equal to 2. And we have character character ch is equal to, for example, q. Ayan. Then, paano kung ganun yan? Di, simple lang naman, guys. Kung gusto nyo i-print sa isang printf. So, just printf, then, x is equal to, o, ganito lang, x is equal to, the format specifier, ano nga yun? Percent i. Then, Gusto nyo ganun ng comma. Then, ch is equal to percent c. Diba? Then, anong, anong hulaan nyo? Anong nalagay natin? Tama. It's x. Then, sunod, comma, it's c. H. Ch kasi yung variable niya. So, ang mangyari dito guys is variable, so yung value na, ang, yung, ang unang format specifier is percent i. So, parang naka-align lang siya. For x, unahin yun yung x kasi yung yun yung unang format specifier. So, x, yun yung magiging value niya punta dyan. Kung anong value ng x, which is 2. And for ch, yun yung magiging value niya papunta dyan, which is q. So, ganun lang naman guys, kasimple. So, yun na. Wait. Alala ko. Backslash n. Backslash n. So, when you run this, guys, so, makikita nyo that x is equal to 2 and ch is equal to percent c. Percent c which is ch is equal to q. So, guys, ganun lang naman guys. So, thank you for watching this video tutorial. So, I hope na may natutunan kayo. Guys, um, just recommend na mag-practice lang. Um, experiment nyo lang yung yung mga pag print f then the declaring variables then ganon data types so thank you guys for watching this video tutorial i hope na may tutulan kayo and thank you